So it's going to be the Trumps and their fraud, four of them, four-part series. I hope you like it. If you do like it, please like it, and I hope you have subscribed, and thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So I thought I'd do a four-part series. This will be number one, and we're not going to start with the big guy. We're going to start with the daughter. So here we go. So I thought I'd just do random questions about uh, Ivanka Trump in this video. Ivanka Trump, let's see how deep she is and how far she's going to go as far as getting in trouble. Let's just let the cards tell the story. Okay, so this deck by Los Carabillo is by renowned uh, uh, child, uh, children's book uh, illustrator, uh, Arthur Rackham. So this is called the Arthur Rackham Tarot. And these are amazing. Um, this uh, fellow was uh, born in 1867, and he was an illustrator of such books as uh, the Brothers Grimm uh, Tales, uh, Peter, who was it? Peter Pan and Kensington Gardens. And uh, so the cards himself, they come in this typical uh, box. Okay, it's got illustrations from uh, Rackham all around it, which is nice. The uh, illustration booklet is just a typical uh, booklet in, I think, three languages and just with a very brief uh, talk about uh, rack up here, but with good um, suggestions as to how to divine the cards, but nothing to write home about. <clears throat> the cards themselves, they're just typical. There's nothing special about the back that I can see, and uh, they're easy to handle, And uh, but the thing about these cards is the work. So when you have an artist who has gone into such detail for these images, and these are pulled from his works over the um, ages, I guess, you know, I guess he was active uh, 100 years ago or so. And uh, so fairy tales for children. And so this sort of stuff just really lends itself perfectly to telling stories in the tarot. The one thing that's odd, like, so for instance, here's a nine of pentacles. And you won't see nine pentacles on here. So you really have to know what the divination is and then interpret his drawings, which are just fantastical. Uh, into that uh, divination. So I like to put the cards out like this so that you can get an idea of what the decks look like if you're not a person who buys a lot of cards or I always have my eyes open for something different. Um, I love that uh, artists uh, come up with these cards and um, they put so much intention into the original uh, works and then that gives us and then when someone wants to choose from their vast uh, repertoire to uh, interpret the tarot that's even more intention laid on top of that so i hope you like them i'm crazy about them so these are arthur rackman's or just the rackman tarot by los carabillo yeah i think it's time that we uh zero down uh, zero in on these uh, these trumpsters again four-part series we're going to do uh, ivanka we're going to do don jr we're going to do eric and then in the end we're going to see about daddy so Ivanka Trump is the subject of today's video. Let's find out, um, you know, how far she is in this. How involved is she in this? And um, let's see if she's going to have to pay the price uh, for what she's done. Or maybe she'll escape, you know, maybe she'll get out of it. Um, maybe she'll move to another country. So we'll just ask the cards, what about Ivanka? Ivanka, is she going to go down uh, in this uh uh, this scam. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Yeah, I think it's just a matter of time until this starts to uh, close in. I mean, it's going to be a while. I don't think this is going to be an instantaneous, as we can tell already, a situation. But Ivanka Trump, Ivanka Trump, what's the signifier for her? Uh, the signifier for Ivanka Trump is the five of swords and so the five of swords is an abuse of power and we can see here that this is uh this woman is kind of hidden behind this uh, shroud of uh of, of of swords here that's built into this forest so the five of swords is an abuse of power and it looks like she's been feeding the pony for quite a while let's see and she looks a little scared so that's ivanka trump <clears throat> the uh, challenge uh, to this abuse of power that she's been involved with is the Four of Wands are celebrations. And the Four of Wands, uh, you know, they're celebrating under these very spooky 
the trees here. And it looks like she's uh, trying to appease uh, this troll. And so I wonder who that could be. So the, for the challenge to uh, her abuse of power has been trying to appease this troll uh, in this with this four of wands, with these actions, with these uh, plans. The base of this reading for Ivanka Trump is then, um, wow, this is amazing. This is the magician. So she's been able to pull some magic out of her tre treasure chest uh, for some time now. And it's been very easy. We can see everything's just flying out of this treasure chest. And so Ivanka has just been very, very prolific in her um, in her scamming deals. The past of this reading for Ivanka, what now, is, um, let's see, this is the 14 of the uh, Major Arcana. That's pretty far up there. And this is Temperance. And Temperance in this card is depicted as very turbulent. I mean, we can see that this uh, Temperance is really distressed over, over what's uh, happening here. So in the past of this meeting, she's just been trying to avoid being swept away in the tide. In the sky of this reading is the King of Wands. And the King of Wands is the fellow who is going to make a plan and make it happen. So that's who, uh, what she hopes for. The King of Wands, I think in her mind, is uh, it could be either her, her dad or her husband, uh, Jared. So the King of Wands is in the sky of this reading for Ivanka. The likely outcome for Ivanka in, in this uh, uh, fraud scam, then, is the Ten of Wands. And the Ten of Wands is just really uh, trying to get everything together, trying to sort everything out. This uh, uh, woman here is trying to herd these geese, uh, you know, up the path through the town. And it's just like herding cats, isn't it? So, yeah, she's trying to round up all of the issues, all of the actions that she's uh, been dealing with and move them on up, probably out of the way of this shadowy figure right here. Very interesting. So let's finish this out with four more cards for Ivanka uh, in this, uh, this text fraud scam. She's, she's up to her uh, chin in. Uh, the uh, self of this question about Ivanka and the text fraud scam is the Four of Cups. And uh, the Four of Cups is typically, uh, you know, this woman is drowned. She's underwater. And uh, there's been a line uh, dropped down to, to her. But, you know, the Four of Cups is not really wanting to take uh, um, the bait, sort of. And uh, look, she's just flooded in this sea of emotion. It comes all the way up to the top here. We've got people on, up here in this little boat trying to drop a line down, trying to fish for the truth. And uh, she seems to be reaching for it, but maybe not. So that's really not wanting uh, what you're being offered. The uh, environment that that's in, then, is the Knight of Swords. So the Knight of Swords for me, swords are truth and justice and rules and law. And this for me are the prosecutors. Uh, these prosecutors are taking their time to really make sure they've got a beady eye on the subject before they hone in on their target. And uh, this, the Knight is going to uh, carry out uh, his deed uh, as prescribed by the rural court. So yeah, these are the prosecutors, this uh, Knight of Swords that really taking their time to get a bead on the subject. The hopes and the fears for this, then, are the Nine of Cups. So the hopes for this thing, the Nine of Cups, is very fruitful, very prosperous. Uh, this woman is just uh, uh, laden with very lush uh, garment, and uh, this is Ivanka herself. Uh, lots of shoes to choose from. She's just really got everything she wants. And she's having a hard time making a decision about what uh, the next choice is going to be to, to um, embellish her, her outfit here. So the Nine of Cups is really having more than what you need. And so that's the challenge uh, to her. That's the hopes and the fears. The hopes is that she comes out with everything she, she uh, wants. And then the uh, likely outcome of the whole thing for Ivanka in this thing Oh, look at this. This is the Ten of Cups. So Ten of Cups is, you know, rainbows and, 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 and good wishes. So it looks like maybe she may be the one who uh, escapes uh, a lot of this prosecution. Let's see how that works out. So Ivanka Trump. Very telling cards uh, for this reading today. So we started out uh, with Ivanka here as the... Um, Abuse of power, the five 
of swords, abuse of power. And she's been, been hidden in the bushes, uh, carrying out her uh, dirty deeds, apparently. The um, challenge to that, then, was the four of wands. And that's the celebrations. And so, uh, yeah, the challenge to that has been finding uh, ways to appease that little troll uh, down here in the corner. So, um, yeah, that's what's been the challenge. The base of this reading, then, is the magician. She's really had everything flying out of her treasure chest uh, to use uh, towards her uh, uh, evil, uh, fraudulent schemes. But the past of that reading, then, was the 14 uh, of the Major Arcana, which is uh, Temperance. And uh, Temperance hasn't been working in her favor. This Temperance is being swept away by the tide. The sky of that reading uh, was the... Um, king of wands and the king of wands is really trying to be the master of the plans that's going that are going to help you uh, get through this situation so that's the best she can hope for is that she is able to master whatever she needs but the likely outcome of the first part of this is the ten of wands which this woman is just trying to herd those geese up the hill uh, away from the shadowy figure here so that is her job to um, get all of her actions, all of her plans moving in the right direction. But then we said, what is the self of the situation? And when we come to that, we get the Four of Cups. And this just depicts someone who's really drowning in the, in the, um, in, in the sea of emotion. That is all, and this, these folks are trying to drop a line to her. And she's trying to grab it maybe, but maybe, you know, maybe she will uh, take a hold of that line. Um, the uh, environment that it's in is the night of swords and the knight of swords is, are the prosecutions for me they're looking they're taking a minute before they take aim to make sure they've got a good beat on their target the um hopes of the fears of this are the knight of cups so the knight of cups is really you know having everything you want this woman is very uh is dressed very uh in a lush manner with uh, more fabric than you would ever need for a, a reasonable dress and looking for which shoes is she going to put on to enhance that so that's what she hopes for that she comes out with all of her lovely worldly possessions and it could be the case because the final card here is the Ten of Cups, which is really you know, celebrations, rainbows, and making everything uh, perfect. So she may be the one that gets away. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now.